contemporary artist Hafsat Sami has dedicated her solo exhibition to anyone who has dared to dream and chase it, despite the obstacles along the way. The reality of her dream is what she's revealing at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in the nation's capital, Abuja. It's her debut exhibition. The artist, Hafsa, is bubbly. She welcomes our visitors with a warm embrace and ushers them into the hall. Here, she introduces the crowd to what it means to imagine a beautiful life. Most of them are already familiar with this artist who has her hands in many pies. This is my first show titled Imagining a Beautiful Life. Um, I'm a visual artist, I'm a textile designer, a poet and also um, a writer. So I'm um, here today, um, all my pieces and all the clothing that I have is a combination of all the three years that I have been doing this for. Um, I'm going to start by talking about some of my paintings and we can begin with the one that is right here behind me. Um, this painting is called Bloom and basically the story behind this is um, just growing up in Nigeria and being from the north it's not very easy breaking into the um, creative market because people don't necessarily always um, appreciate art or where it comes from. So this is just a story talking about all the waterfalls I've had to cry but then they've also helped me bloom to become this artist that I am today. Hafsad Sami works in different aspects of the art. She explains what she brings to the table as a textile artist. So very recently this year, outside of being um, a painter, I decided to go into um, textile design and also jewelry making. And I have a few pieces here with me that I would like to share with you. Um, we, have, we currently have six different designs. So, And then behind me, we have a rack where you would see some of my um, textiles that I hand dye and also t-shirts that I hand paint. My general advice to the artists, Hafsa, and of course to the youth of Nigeria, is that, um, well, to her first, is she should um, maybe take her work to the bigger society, to larger society, and of course, export. Because as we all know, we're trying to diversify the uh, economy and um, this is how we do it this is how people start while the other bright images displayed touch on her northern roots she attributes the success of her career to a very supportive mom who always encouraged her to reach her goals no matter the challenges so this painting is called vulnerable and this painting is a celebration of all the women that I've had in my life supporting me. My mother, my aunties, my sister, my grandmother. They say that no woman is as confident as she is without the support and the love, and the love um, from the women supporting her. I feel very proud of Hafsi. It's been a long journey for her because right from day one she's always told us she wanted to be an artist. But you know, she went to school, went to the university and read something else, came back and still the passion was there. So I'm very happy that in her own way she's been able to take art to the next level, do it very well and here we are today. I wrote this poem um, this year, and it's just um, a poem thanking um, God for the talent that he's given to me, and also the audience that he sends to me to come and see all of my work. Um, this poem is called Gratitude, and I'm going to read a little bit of it, just so that you get an idea of the kind of writing that I do. It says, exploring uncharted places, taking my heart with me, unafraid to feel, afraid to not. At this very moment, in this very place, I am alive and I'm living. And it's just like a celebration of everything that is going on in my life right now and how thankful I am for everything that is happening. Wow. 
one thing I can say about her art is it's very unique. It's different from anything, and it comes from from you know from her. So it's all her. You'll get her full art. It's all about female empowerment. Yes, we're, we're empowering women, and that's the whole theme of the art. It's all about empowering women. She's really come a long way and her art really inspires me because I like art too and it's just so beautiful to look at. Every small thing, you'll see so much passion inside of it. See, she's quite good, you know. Um, she's always been very creative. She's a very creative person. I've known her for a while. And um, these type of uh, paintings that she's done, she started recently, not like very recently, but fairly recently and she's improved over time. So it's, it's very good. We're all proud of the work that she's producing now. This is an inspiration to other artists and entrepreneurs who are attending the event. All I see is creativity. She's a poet. She's diverse. I will talk from an artist's point of view because I'm a painter. And when I look at her work, I'm kind of drawn because there is depth. One thing that amazed me about her work is how she's able to make use of color and also stitch at the same time. You can see the creativity uh, that is buzzing all around it. And she didn't learn this, it's all from her, from her heart and from her mind. So I'm, I'm really blown, I'm, I'm really impressed by what she's creating. And this is what we're telling, I'm especially proud of young people in Nigeria today. It's all about creativity and that's what they're doing. And with that, it's entrepreneurship and she's selling and she has produced a lot of stuff to sell apart from the arts. So I'm, I'm, really, I'm really proud of this. Uh, this is our new story that Nigeria must sell to the world, that we have creative minds here with us. As she paints her signature on the vivacious faces around her, she also encourages them to never stop believing in a dream. Life is a beautiful work of art and you have the power to paint it using vibrant colors. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. We draw the curtain on the program today and continue the conversation on any of our online platforms. Next week we'll be showing you two exhibitions in Lagos. The first is a group project which talks about identity and the young artists exhibiting are part of the product of our Art House on Facebook platform. Then, contemporary artist Bolaju Ogunwo reveals his recent body of work, so you won't want to miss the next episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great day. <laughs>